But uh, Apple has a, a, a fun, fun way of saying, we don't have any security. Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, not that. You know, <laughs> we don't, we're, we're a computer system without any security flaws. Never, we've never had it, we never will. And the moment there's a security ball, they say, well, that was us. <laughs> that, was, so that, that was you guys. That if you guys did things right, you wouldn't be doing that. So, oh, you installed software that, that took advantage of a, of a flaw or even a website that you didn't have hit. Well, that's you know, so, you know, things like that. Whereas, uh, uh, we'll talk about them in a second because that also, um, the Apple iCloud, I have trouble with that. You know, .NET user group is probably a good place to say this. A good place to unburden. I have trouble with Apple a lot of times. And um, they they came out, uh, they got hacked, as you guys know, Jennifer Lawrence, remember all those pictures, and she stored them on her iPhone. And the iPhone got hacked because Apple's iPhone site didn't limit the number of passwords. That, you know, so, so they did a brute force algorithm that actually, I don't know, most of us can do a brute force algorithm, right? Um, this was uh, actually released in Russia, um, and uh, this, this code, and, and uh, uh, it was released in Russia, and they, and they, uh, um, simply they used the Russian, uh, at a conference in Russia, a professor did, I think it was actually a United States professor in a Russian conference, said, uh, said here's how you would hack into Apple, and uh, Apple's iPhone, uh, iCloud, and uh, the, uh, and they said they're using this hack, but most of us can do a brute force algorithm. That's just trying every single password, right? So you open the page, try a password, try a password, try a password, try a, enjoy it a million times, and eventually you break in. Okay, um, the, the, a little more sophisticated in the sense that they look at profiles of people and put in emails. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And, 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 but yeah, in fact, the whole program was about a thousand lines long, so it wasn't it wasn't just this long. And, um, in fact, uh, this goes up to um, like one line one of six from seventy nine. So it does get it, it is a little bit long, right? And the whole thousand lines of code that would have been brutal. <laughs> but uh, the the um, but the basic premise is, is not, is, is, you know, it wouldn't take that one to develop a brute force algorithm. But he developed one, presented it, and they took this algorithm, somebody did, and hacked in, and now they're releasing it on, I think, 4 <laughs> which, uh, which is where he released these things, evidently. So